explained to me. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Car goes on. Car catches on fire. What's up, guys? It is Ryan here, I'm bringing you another episode or video, whatever you want to call it, of Beam and G Drive. At today, we've got a new map. So recently, in the past week or two, um, Beam and G has updated their game and they've got a new map and which we are actually on part of the new map this is the dirt part dirt part of it and this truck is not capable well, I mean it's partially capable kind of not really uh, kind of and um, we're gonna go ahead and take this truck and see exactly what we need to take this track or take down this track so to start off we are going to just drive just drive around with the stock well, not the stock, but the V8 version of this truck. For or no, this might yeah, this is the V8 version. Just the stock, uh, smaller the smaller engine V8, four wheel drive. <clears throat> no, none of that fancy stuff. So we're just gonna see what exactly we need to take care of this track. So in the center of it, like halfway through, I think um, you'll notice a big, a little bit of a a little bit of big bit a <sighs> little mm, that's a big jump that's not the jump I was talking about but that is pretty big um, there is this jump right here which you need a good amount of speed because you'll be flying over and we did not make it for the most part we kind of did but kind of didn't and um, our truck is suffering a little bit truck is suffering just a little bit and we're gonna see exactly how much farther the, this truck can go but I don't think it will go much farther at all. Um, the suspension is completely ruined. I just hit the wall because I can't turn at all. Jeez, the suspension. I've never actually seen the suspension like break like that. I've seen it like obviously go to the side, but this is like stance kind of breaking. Which I've never actually seen before, I don't think. At least not. Maybe. Maybe I have. I don't know. Okay, yep, the truck is pretty much done. But we're gonna keep going and then we'll um we will actually put a bigger engine in it. A bigger engine in it and see exactly what that will do to it. Or maybe put like a supercharger in it. I don't know exactly what this engine can add to. Or put a NOS bottle in it. We're gonna see exactly what we need. So I can't turn right like at all. Can't turn right. Okay, whoa. Okay, yep, there we go. It's uh, the right axle in the front left. Front left is pretty much broken. I cannot turn right at all. So we're going to go ahead and reset. We're going to upgrade the engine. Let's see what we need to do. We're going to upgrade the engine. 4.5 liter V8. We're going to do a stage 1 supercharger and see what exactly that will do. See what that will do. Alright, so now we got the stage 1 supercharger V6 or V8 4.5 liter V8 engine. We don't, we have not upgraded anything other than the um, engine and the supercharger. Well, the supercharger really. We're just added one. But we're going to go ahead and see and see exactly what this truck's capable of, of. And then obviously I'm going to show you other parts of the map, which might take a little bit. But I like this track. I like taking like cars on it. Uh, do a little bit like off-roading kind of stuff, which is obviously what it's for. Well, racing, but same thing. Now this this jump you gotta go slow, kind of. Otherwise you're gonna destroy your truck or car, whichever you want to take on the take home thing or semi. It could be a semi for all, for all I know. All right, so that didn't do much better. That didn't do any better. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and since that didn't work, I'm just gonna say screw it. And this is the track. It's kind of cool. It's kind of big. I mean, it's not really that big, but um, then we have this track, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Let's oh, let's put it into rear wheel drive so we can do some drifts, maybe. Yeah, we got some four wheel or uh, some truck drifts. This is pretty much what this area is for, for the most part. If you got a drifting car or like a drift truck or whatever you want, whatever you want to take on it. You can take it around the track, drift around the tr course, and pretty much destroy your vehicle. Oh my gosh, what the heck just happened? Uh, I dislocated the, uh, you know when you dislocate a bone? Well, this is like dislocating the, the, 
Um, dislocate. Oh, jeez. Well, there goes the truck. So that's basically like dislocating the um, dislocating the whatever. So we're actually gonna grab a different vehicle, change it up a little bit. Uh, what vehicle shall we grab? Oh wait, I know exactly what to grab next. So we're gonna grab the. I have a new mod, which is the Civita Bolide. Uh, go kart. Well, yeah, go kart. We're gonna spawn that up, and then we're gonna take it to the drag strip. Which there, here, this is pretty cool. So we'll actually, I want to see how fast. Oh yeah, this definitely does not have the W16 or V16, whatever mod I have downloaded. It does not take cornering very well. It's not very fast either. But we're gonna grab it, and then here, obviously, here is a dirt track where you can go around, do some figure eights, all that fun stuff. So let's go to the drag strip. Let's go to the drag strip and we're gonna place down this car. <clears throat> we're gonna place this car down, go around, and then we're gonna upgrade it to pretty much max capacity. Alright, go ahead and reset the vehicle. Reset. Alright. Well, maybe not. Hold on. We gotta switch it up. We gotta grab the W16, no, V16. V16 this vehicle and then we have to change it to the go-kart because I think the go-kart goes a lot faster than the car itself does all right so 7 liter V6 oh maybe I maybe it was there I just didn't see it 5 mm, speed manual tow hitch no go-kart chassis chassis whatever you want to call it whoa 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 why is it not the go-kart go-kart where are you at what the heck what the heck just happened what what that's not normal that is not normal okay what what did I do wrong what did I do wrong? <clears throat> Independent rear axle. Rear struts. Um, why is it not the go kart? Well, that's a little bit better. All right, now we gotta find the engine. It's engine, quad, exhaust, transaxle. Wait a second. Nose cone. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? If this hits 200 miles per hour by the end, then this is the car. Uh, nope. Okay. Well. Anyways, that's what the, that's what the uh, drag strip is. You know what else is out? You know what else is fatter, faster? Let me find it. It is the Gavel Barstow. Demo Derby. I actually did not get to check that one out. I'm gonna check that out real quick. Well, that's not how it's supposed to be. So, it kind of puts smoke through the top. Let's turn it. Can I turn it? Okay. It has kind of has. Oh, it shoots fire. Holy crap. Let's smash this thing. Oh, snap. This. It could do tons of damage if it wanted to. Now I'm curious. So. Alright, I'm going to take this vehicle to the end. And I got really sidetracked on this, but I'm going to do it anyways. <clears throat> Jeez, it's like a freaking train. It's like, choo choo! And that shoots fire as it shifts up. This thing's slow, though. Turn around. How does it do a burnout or like a drift or anything like that? 
All right, we're gonna put the parking brake on. We're gonna grab this bolide and go. We're gonna see how much which vehicle gets more damage on. All right, so I need to pause it. Pause, slow motion, eight times, and crunch. Which vehicle is going to be the one that dies? Well, it looks like both of them are kind of still alive, but there is a wheel. There is a wheel inside of the car. This car might be alive. Nope, I think the drive train is destroyed. It's just shooting fire. It's just shooting fire. A little bit destroyed. All right. Well, we're actually going to take this. Oh, no. I want to fly. All right. So we're going to take this. And we got this area, which I covered. We have a little parking lot. We have tennis. We've got, is this solar panels? Yeah, these are solar panels. Uh, then we got the highway, which, uh, let's do a speed run on the highway. Let's see how fast we can get to on the highway. All right, so we're going to start all the way over here. Actually, we're going to start, like, over here, and then we're going to, like, cruise around. I'm going to see if I can upgrade this car. I'm going to start right here. Start right here. All right, I need to turn around, but... I don't know how this vehicle can do a burnout or like spin its tire slightly. All right, parking brake on, and let's see if we can modify this vehicle just slightly because it's a little bit slow. Hood, uh, front subframe, engine straight piped. I want high. What's high performance engine? What the heck would that mean? All right, we're gonna go with the 663 CUI V8 engine just because we gotta have classic muscle. I like that. That's what a muscle car should do. All right, so we're gonna see how fast this vehicle or this car can actually get to. And vroom vroom. Uh, we made it take the turn, drift around the corner. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Didn't lose it. Well, I lost it, but then I got it back. Same thing. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Gotta go through there. Uh, wait. Not really sure which way we should go. Uh, straight? I'm gonna go straight. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight. Alright, so control C and go. On the road again. Driving fast in my Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, same thing. So we're going about 130 miles per hour, 126 miles per hour. This car is actually really not that fast. We're going to try it again, but with, um, Maybe a different transmission. Maybe. And this is the end of the road. <coughs> can, I, can I keep it? Nope. Okay, well. Ah, I didn't do that bad. Victory burnout. Alright, we're going to put maybe a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put a uh, where's subframe radiator support engine. I need like a five-speed all-wheel drive. What? That is not all-wheel drive. But it already seems like it's going faster in terms of like high speed, maybe. All right, we're gonna try that. Actually, we're gonna do. 8 speed automatic and 2 uh, stage 4 supercharger see if we can get anywhere with this okay we might not be able to that's going to be torque steer 
That's gonna be way too much torque steer. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> bring it down just a little bit. It's maybe stage three. Stage three, stage three, stage three, and boom. We're gonna try this. Over rev risk. Okay, so that's not really a risk just yet. Maybe I should um not start right here because we're not gonna start right here anymore. We're gonna start over here and see how fast we can get to. Starting right here. Right there. Reset. Over rev risk. Who cares? I'm gonna floor it no matter what. That's cool. You gotta make it through here and go. It's got so much torque. Oh, it's got 500 pounds of torque. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's put some drag radios on this vehicle. On this car. Sorry, so rear suspension, leaf spring, heavy uh, rear brake, whoa, 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 where's, rear wheels, we're going to put, where is it, alder, dragger, 15 by, f no, wait, where is it, it's 15 by 14, I think, alright, see if this works, kind of works, Makes it go faster. But I crashed. <laughs> Holy crap, it's got a lot of wheel torque. Like a couple. Like 2,000 wheel torque, maybe. And it's still spinning out with a freaking. Oh my gosh. This is not gonna work. But at least we got a cool donut. How are we going faster and faster? Explain to me. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Car goes on. Car catches on fire. All that torque is kind of hitting us. Well, that went well. Still going though. It's gonna destroy. It's gonna die soon. We're in gear six. I don't know. This car might actually hit two hundred, maybe. Two hundred. Two hundred. Come on, two hundred. Yes, it hit 200. And the car is toast. Literally, because it's on fire. Right down the middle. <coughs> and three, two, one, go! Oh, that was like. That was really bad. I gotta, fe I gotta feather it. It's got way too much torque. Way too much. Way too much torque. Oh, it's done. It's done. It's okay. Yep. That done. That done did die did. And rip. What other vehicles are fast? What other vehicles? Ah, the Hirochi SBR4. Extreme Edition Hill Climb. Sequential DCT. Sequential. We're going to go with the sequential vehicle. And I'm kind of just in my own world right now. So if you watch to this end, to watch to this part, you are awesome. I missed. And go. 32 pounds of boost. 500 brake horsepower. Uh, sixth gear. So I don't think we're gonna hit 200. I don't think so. But holy crap, we are going fast, and I'm pretty controlled right now. For the most part, I'm pretty controlled. And brake. See if we can actually brake. Oh, we're not gonna make it. All right, front left axles. Axles done. All right, so now we're gonna explore. Whoa, what's this? What is this? So is this like a um Oh, that's not what I wanted. I have not explored every part of this area. 
Do not enter wrong way. Okay. Who cares? I'm going to go the wrong way anyways. I'm kind of destroying my car. But. And bye bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got this little dirt area. It's got like a uh, oil rig. Ooh, this is this? This is a tunnel. Oh, I have not been in the tunnel yet. Where, where is it? Alright, so that's pretty much nothing. It just goes back to the highway. It goes to dead end, really. Uh, here's the solar panels again. Now we're into the city. So the city is pretty fun because um, if you start right here, uh, probably maybe right here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's uh, yeah, that's going well. That's a flipped over vehicle. Start right there, and um, we're gonna go ahead and drive. I might be going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. <coughs> going the wrong way. Street fire. I love it. I love how they added like flames and stuff. All right. Can't go up that way. I'm assuming that in the future they're going to be adding more because they've got like a lot of areas where they're going to be adding more, I think. Alright, so we, this is basically like San Francisco. So we've got the hills, we've got the jumps. Front bumper is destroyed, or not destroyed, but not there anymore. We got the front, or we got the hills, and if we go up, we got a little bit more hills. So it's a little bit of fun. It's a lot of fun, actually. And we go jump over that, and we're pretty much going to be flying. And as you can see over here, if we spawn a new vehicle, uh, let's grab an off-road. Let's grab a Jeep. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's grab the gavel roamer. Um, crawler, or I mean, demolition derby version. <laughs> yep, not there. Up here. Where am I? Wait. What? How? Did it like it just what what I'm so lost what just happened oh okay can we get out oh, maybe not um, this is all fenced off okay we're gonna start right here all right well not that vehicle well that vehicle but not yeah anyway, maybe I need four wheel drive. Control C, okay. Control C, or Control R. There we go. Alright, so I guess this vehicle, I guess this truck, this uh, roamer does not move in four wheel drive mode. I guess not. Alright, well, I'm just gonna show you this. I'm gonna start, actually, I'm gonna go up here and go towards the tower, and we're gonna reset our vehicle. And I'm gonna drive down. <coughs> and just let it crunch itself. Because ain't that exactly what Beam and G was meant for? Can we roll? Can we roll some more? Please? Nope. Go in reverse. What the? So I guess that was like the end of the map. <laughs> Maybe that I drove into. And crash. Now we got a dented rear end, and that's uh, the disaster. That's pretty much disaster. But I think that's gonna end the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I kind of got distracted all the way through, but oh well. 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.